Hey folks, hope you're all doing well and welcome back to the channel. So for episode four of my 25 favorite guitars, I wanted to talk a little bit about Tony Iommi, uh, Black Sabbath, uh, pretty much been with Black Sabbath through his entire career. Um, I mean, what can you say about Tony? He is the arguably responsible for heavy metal um, and a lot of offshoot genres of that, stoner rock and so on, desert rock and um early on you know uh it was that sg um you know with that little bit of fuzz on it overdriven amp dallas range master in front of it just to kind of overdrive it and he had that really sort of slightly fuzzy heavy riff um i mean it's a three-piece well it's a four-piece band sabbath but there's only three instruments and you know Tony had to sound big and uh, he always managed to do that on all of their recordings. Um, and everybody knows sort of the history of Tony Iommi, right? He got his, you know, two fingers on his left hand, lost the fingertips in an accident and had to, you know, figure out a way to make artificial fingertips. And then he's using very light gauge strings. From what I understand, he's using eights, but despite all of that, he's still able to generate this really massive, sort of big throbbing sound you know it's like you listen to tony Iommi's riffs and it's like godzilla walking through a city and just you know knocking buildings down i mean it's it's amazing right and he's got so many cool cool riffs i mean you know um like the early stuff with ozzy um you know uh i sweet leaf uh hole in the sky i love those songs i love those songs i love those riffs um, symptom of the universe, another one is, you know, more pigs, more pigs, it goes on and on, but there's, there's, you know, the thing is his stuff is not really, really, um, really difficult to play a lot of times, but it's the simplicity. I think that really adds to the power of some of those earlier riffs. Personally, for me, um, I, I'm a big fan of the Dio era of Sabbath. So my favorite Sabbath al album, and I know it's blasphemy is uh, the mob rules and, you know, and when Tony switched over, you know, and started playing with Dio, he played, started playing a lot faster, sort of more of an 80s vibe. And uh, man, the guy just, again, just came up with amazing, amazing stuff. Uh, I've always been a, a much bigger fan of Tony's songwriting and his, his riffs than I have of his soloing. Um, not saying he's a bad lead player. He, he's uh, he's a great lead player obviously so there's always a little bit of blues in everything tony does solo wise um but for me the real sort of why he's on my list is not so much for the lead playing it's the absolute just masterful riffs that he's come up with i mean through you know the entire sabbath catalog so i always talk about what are my three favorite things about each guitar player so for tony iomi it's right off the bat it's what i've been talking about all this time just just his songwriting his 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 monster riffs just you know i mean what can you say i mean the guy's just it, it seems like he's got an endless supply of 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 you know cool guitar riffs to to draw from so songwriting riffs which is the same thing a part of songwriting the second thing is you know, Tony Iommi on stage was not a mover. He wasn't running around. He's not kicking up his legs and going down on one knee. He's not doing any of that stuff. But he's just very stoic, kind of stands in one place, maybe walks to the front of the stage, walks back. But he's just like, just, he just gives off these waves of like cool and power. You know what I mean? He doesn't even have to do that stuff. He's just, just watching him crank out these, these, these tunes, you know out of that SG and it's like, you know, he doesn't even have to run around. So like, he's always got that sort of that, you know, that very, very cool presence. And the third thing I love about Tony, and if you watch and if you've seen any live Sabbath, his tone has always been spectacular. I mean, the guy gets massive, massive sound, you know, and um, one, a couple of things I'm going to point out. I always give some examples of things to kind of, to, to sort of highlight some of my comments. And one thing is um, if you can get your hands on that um, and it's not Sabbath now, this is heaven and hell. So this is, you know, with Vinnie Peace and Ronnie Dio, 
you know, later on in their career, you know, they call themselves heaven and hell geezer and Tony. Um, if you get, if you can get your hands on, um, the live, uh, Blu-ray, um, at radio city music hall, uh, and just listen to the absolute power of that, I mean, when they're doing like, you know, die young and I mean, everything is just loud and absolutely crushing. And Tony's just walking around playing these amazing riffs. And as, I mean, speaking of Die Young, that's actually one of my favorite uh, guitar sort of uh, explorations of Tony. I love what he does on that song specifically. Um, so that's one thing. And, you know, and again, I'm a sucker for the mob rules. I think it's it's some of his best riffs. It's some of his best playing. And uh, I mean, it just the songs on that. And I was saying, you know, earlier his stuff was kind of simple. You know, his stuff, I mean, some of the licks and some of the riffs he came on later on, they became a lot, a lot more sophisticated, like Voodoo. Uh, I was going to say Voodoo Child. Uh, voodoo, uh, not the Voodoo Child, just the song Voodoo. I mean, there's some really cool, intricate little things that he's doing. You know, the Mob Rules riff is kind of cool. You know, um, just, I mean, the guy's just an absolute master, just a riff master. And for that reason alone, he has to be in my top 25 favorite guitarists. Um, I'm actually also going to include, I, I wrote a song that was sort of an ode to Tony Iommi. It's called Black Holiday. I'll put it down in the description. Check it out. It was my version of a Tony Iommi Black Sabbath song. It's an instrumental, so no worry about singing. So check that track out. Thanks for watching. Uh, give me a thumbs up and please subscribe to the channel. I'm slowly, slowly approaching 3,500. I'm only one away as of today. So this will air on Saturday. So hopefully by Saturday, I'll, I'll have hit that milestone. I want to thank everybody for watching, supporting the channel. You guys rock. Have a good rest of your weekend. Cheers.